hello everyone today we are going to discuss about the lapse rate so first of all we need to know what is the lapse rate in the troposphere the temperature of the surrounding air normally decreases with an increase in the height this rate of change of temperature is called the lapse rate this rate will differ from place to place and from time to time even at the same place Hence, the prevailing lapse rate at a particular time and the particular place which can be determined by sending up a balloon equipped with a thermometer and a self-recording mechanism is known as the prevailing lapse rate or it is known as the ambient lapse rate or sometimes basically it is known as the environmental lapse rate. Under the prevailing environmental conditions, when a parcel of air which is hotter and lighter than the surrounding air is released, then naturally it tends to rise up until of course it reaches to a level at which its own temperature and density becomes equal to that of the air surrounding it. Hence, when a pocket of artificially heated air that is uh, for an example it may be automobile exhaust or stack gases is emitted into the environment it rises up expands becomes lighter and gets cooled the rate at which the temperature decreases as this parcel gains height may be considerably different from the environmental lapse rate which is known as elr of the air through which the smoke parcels moves hence it is very necessary to differentiate between the environmental lapse rate and the internal temperature change which occurs within the rising parcel of the air gases this internal decrease of temperature or cooling whatever you can say with height which occurs in the rising parcel of air mass can be theoretically calculated by assuming the cooling process to be adiabatic as the air parcel moves up its temperature decreases as its own heat energy is expanded due to increase in the volume of the air parcel using the law of conservation of energy and gas laws it has been possible to mathematically calculate this rate of decrease of temperature with height which is called as adiabatic lapse rate now there are two types of adiabatic lapse rate depending on the condition of an environment the environment is dry or wet depending on the dry and wet condition the lapse rate are known as dry adiabatic lapse rate and wet adiabatic lapse rate the value of the dry adiabatic lapse rate is 9.8 degree centigrade per kilometer and similarly the value of wet adiabatic lapse rate is 6 degree centigrade per kilometer since the rising parcel of emitted smokes neither be fully dry nor fully saturated the actual adiabatic lapse rate that is alr representing cooling of the emitted smokes will be somewhere between the dry adiabatic lapse rate and wet adiabatic lapse rate depending upon the relative positions of the two lines that is ALR line and ELR line on the graph sheet the stability of the environment is determined the three major relative positions of ELR line with reference to ELR line are discussed below the first case is when the ELR is more than the ALR uh, the environment is said to be unstable in such a case the rising parcel of air will always remain warmer than the surrounding environment this is because as we go up the environment is getting cooler more quickly than the rising parcel of lighter air and hence the rising parcel of air will always remain warmer than the environment the reverse is also true and hence a decreasing parcel of heavier air will always remain cooler than the surrounding air because as we move down the environment is getting warmer more quickly than the parcel of air the prevailing environmental lapse rate that is the 
ELR in such a condition is known as super adiabatic lapse rate because it is more than the adiabatic lapse rate. In such a case, when the environment lapse rate is more than the adiabatic lapse rate, a rising parcel of warmer air, also warmer lighter air, will continue to lift up, whereas a parcel of heavier cooler air will continue to come down. You can say the parcel of air will continue to accelerate in the direction of displacement. In such situation, the environment is unstable and the dispersion of pollutants will be rapid due to huge vertical mixing of air. However, sometimes the high degree of turbulence may even sometimes bring the smokes towards the ground level under the pressure of the downward moving heavier air. The second case is when the ELR is less than the ALR. In that case, the environment is known as stable and the prevailing environmental lapse rate is called the subadiabatic lapse rate as it is less than the adiabatic lapse rate. In this environmental situation, we can achieve minimum mixing of the air pollutant. Also, you can say due to the uh, less turbulence, dispersion of air pollutant is minimum and the third case that is the last one when elr is equal to the alr that is the both line coincides and in this situation the environment is known as in neutral condition thank you